Thanks for tuning in to another installment of the Appalachian Update, your weekly rundown of what's going on around campus provided by our campus newspaper, The Appalachian. In news, Phi Gamma Delta and Alpha Amacrim Pi held the second annual Camp Slam Basketball Tournament on February 24th in the Student Recreation Center. 16 teams of three competed, and entry to enter the event was three canned foods per person. The event raised 475 cans of food for the Watauga County Hunger and Health Coalition. This year's Dance Marathon event took place on February 25th and raised $39,088 for Western Youth Network and parent-to-parent -parent family support. The Honors College search for a new dean has been narrowed down to three potential candidates, Alex Fink, David Coleman, and Jeff Walbush. Fink is currently the Wilma Register Sharp and Mark Boyd Sharp Dean at Cormier Honors College for Citizen Scholars and Longwood University. Boone residents Fulton and Denise Lovin plan to return H.W. Horton Building on King Street into the Horton Hotel, which will have 14 rooms and a rooftop cocktail lounge. The Lovins held a groundbreaking for the hotel on February 23rd and hope to have it open by next January. In arts and entertainment, Canvas Beauty Bar, located on Howard Street, was chosen to style nails, hair, and makeup at New York Fashion Week February 9th through the 16th. Canvas was chosen to represent the hair care product Evo at the Designer Libertines Fashion Show. Electric Jelly Funk won this year's Battle of the Bands competition at Legends on February 23rd. They competed against Stellar Architecture, The Blue Wild, and Vanilla Envelope. Each band performed a 10-minute set with a selection of three to five songs and were graded on a 25-point scale based on categories like stage presence, originality, skill, and effort. A condom fashion show will be held on March 8th in the Parkaway Ballroom. Seven teams will compete head-to-head -head with outfits made out of unwrapped colored condoms. The event is sponsored by Program One Condom and Global Protection. We provided a total of 7,000 condoms for the event and prizes for the winner. The Turchin Center for the Visual Arts hosts a collection of workshops for App State students that rotate each week. Students can participate in open studio sessions, Tai Chi, and yoga classes, and specialized workshops in alcohol inks and moon journals. In sports, an App State press release noted that needs of over $60 million have been identified Kicking off this new campaign, a new video board for the Holmes Convocation Center and Kid Brewer Stadium have been announced, both of which will be completed by the start of the 2017 to 2018 seasons. The football board will be the largest in all of Group of Five football and three times larger than the current board. In addition to the board, The Rock will be equipped with new ribbon displays and a new audio system. The App State cheerleading team is preparing to compete in its first national tournament in almost two decades when they compete at the Canem Nationals in Myrtle Beach on March 17th. They'll perform for the final time at App State's basketball game tomorrow before they begin to solely focus on preparing for the tournament. App State men and women's basketball will travel to New Orleans this coming week for the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. All the Sunbelt teams will compete in a round-by-round -round tournament, and the winner will receive an NCAA tournament bid. The final seeds are going to be determined on Sunday. Thanks for tuning in to the Appalachian Update. For more campus news, pick up our newspapers on Thursdays or visit our website at theappalachianonline.com. We'll see you next week.